Well, hello everybody. So guess what? I'm out doing some metal detecting and I'm hanging out with an old friend. So let me introduce you guys to them. And I just dug something good. I'm pretty sure it's something good in this plug, but check this out. Voila, the Garrett AT Max. I've got it back again. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to find some good stuff. So let's see what I found in this hole and uh, I'll see you here in the next video. So here with my faithful Garrett AT Max, it's good to have it back and I just dug my first signal in the hole and I'm pretty sure this is something really good. So I got a little green patina on it. Let's see what we found. It's kind of messed up, worn down a little bit, but don't want to mess it up. Let's see the back. Oh guys, look what we got here. I see a V. I'm pretty sure that's good. So uh, I'm gonna figure out how to clean this up and uh, see if we can get anything on the front. So I will see you guys here on the next one. All right guys, so I just got done cleaning this up and I can't believe it. My oldest nickel that I've ever found, guess what year it is? It is, let's let you take a look at it real fast. You see where the V is right there? And the back's kind of worn down, but on the back it says the year I found is an 1890. So I can't believe it. Uh, pretty excited. I'm gonna, you know, look around more in the spot. There's gotta be plenty of stuff out here, so. Let's go back and hopefully find some more. If not, this made my day, so already. See you guys here in a little bit. Just got another signal. This one was ringing up probably in the 70s, but it looks like I got a bullet. What do you guys think? 40 caliber, 45 maybe? Decent size. All right, see you guys here in the next one. All right, so let's get another good signal. And this one looks like a possible piece of jewelry. Let's see if we can wipe it off and get some type of design on it. Hard to tell what it is. I'll clean it up and uh, see what we got here. All right, see you here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I was getting a real strong signal on this one right here. It was jumping around. Looks like I got a possible coin spill. I got one quarter. I got a second one. And let's see what we got here. Show right here. Let's see what we got. There it is. I see some right here. We got a dime. I don't know if there's anything else in here, but let's see. I think that's it. Well, pretty cool, guys. Got three coins. All right, see you here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I got a decent uh, tone right now on my detector. It looks like I got a mini ball or a buckshot. Kind of hard to tell. I'm going to wipe this off real fast. Uh, it's, got a little, it's got like the patina on it and stuff, but it's real heavy, so pretty cool. All right, see you here in a little bit. All right, everybody, just uh, finishing up my hunt. I had a total of five quarters. I had five dimes, three pennies, and then here's my trash pile. It was I was out for probably about a couple hours a day, and then my good finds of the day. I had these two bullets right here. This one looks like a forty or forty-five caliber. And this one looks like a buckshot or something old. It's got that white patina on it. Really heavy though. And then my best find, best nickel I have ever found in my whole entire life. So you can see the V right there. And on the front it says uh, 1890. If I go in real close, you can kind of see the 1890. So I'm going to see if I can clean it up or not. I want to be able to see a little bit more on the front. So hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. And uh, it's getting ready to rain right now. So I will catch you guys soon and uh, talk to you later. <laughs> Your face, you're in my head. There's a